Thank you for joining us on tonight's Prime Edition. My name is Wairi Mujenga, and our sign language interpreter tonight is Lensa Odingo. We are live on YouTube and also on all our social media handles at KBC Channel 1 at Wairi Mujenga is my handle. Now we kick it off with over 400,000 grade 9 learners accounting for 35% of 1.2 million learners expected to transition to grade 10 have no clear understanding of the three career pathways, namely science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, social science and arts, and sports science, even as the school selection exercise concluded on 30th June. This is according to a report by Zizi Africa uh, Foundation and Usawa Agenda, which shows that 60% of the learners want to pursue STEM courses, with 68% being boys and 59% being girls. Kasichana must China starts our bulletin tonight. It is barely six months before the transition of 1.2 million grade 9 learners to senior school. The curriculum-based education system demands that learners select schools according to the career pathways they want to pursue. All our learners have got an opportunity to choose the schools they, they like. And from the selection results, we, we have seen clearly that more than 5,000 schools out of this 9,700, they don't get any, any, any learners select them. Reason is because some of these schools, maybe the learners do not uh, prefer them. And, and, and other, other, other reasons, including locality, preferences. However, a report on the state of education released by Zizi Afrika and Usawa Agenda on the state of education during a Citizens of the Future Education Summit in Nairobi shows that a third of the learners have no clear understanding of the three pathways, STEM, social sciences, and arts and sports sciences. The readiness and understanding of the pathways by, by learners and 65% of them know the pathways. Majority of them are choosing to want to go to STEM, especially boys, 68% of them want to go to STEM, and 59% and of the girls want to go to, to STEM pathways. But it's important for us to look at the 35% who are in the grade that is supposed to be choosing pathways, but they don't know about the pathways. The report further shows that as of December 2024, only 21% of teachers in public junior schools were trained in STEM, with 35% of the schools without a single STEM teacher, and only 48% of learners in these schools had access to laboratory facilities. The global UNESCO recommended student-teacher ratio is for every one teacher for senior school, or rather secondary school, is 1 to 35. For primary school, or what we are calling now comprehensive school, it is 1 to 25. We have 12.6 million learners that is, in junior, or that is in primary, junior, and secondary school right now, 12.6. If you do your mathematics, the ratio right now is 1 to 29. The research showed that children who attended preschool before joining primary school are 9% more likely to perform better in maths and 18% in English than those who did not. The findings also revealed that learners in arid and semi-arid lands and rural areas underperform those in non-asal and urban areas like in northeastern region where only 2 in 10 grade 4 learners could read and comprehend a grade 3 level English story. Additionally, in Mandera County, for example, 51.4% of children falling under the early childhood education category are out of school due to inaccessibility with Nakuru County, recording 1.8% with the highest access. Overall, the study identified a lack of adequate staffing, ICT, science facilities, and related physical infrastructure, including ablution and sanitation blocks and capitation for public schools as some of the major challenges hampering education development in Kenya. Calls have been made for a robust collaboration framework that allows the communities, private sector and development partners to play a significant role in public education, resourcing and management. We have to escalate digital learning by having ICT centres up to it set up in more than 80% of the learning institutions in the country. We want to explore innovative ways of scaling education financing to ensure that we create 
an equitable chance for every learner in the country. Kenya is actually a leader of uh, education on the continent. So the, the, the things that you see as raising up as challenges can make us feel bad, but uh, remembering that the challenges we confront as a continent uh, are a lot, and education sector alone cannot solve all its problems. Kasichina Masha, Prime Edition.